1954 on a field in Oxford, England. Roger Bannister did the impossible. He ran a mile in less than four minutes. He ran it in 359. So basically in the special needs mom movement, it is a, at this point, it's a Facebook group. And um, upon registering and subscribing to the group, you're placed in that Facebook group. Every single week you get a challenge to focus on. I mean, just something that we all need to be, as humans, focusing on for good health. So it might be this week you're gonna focus on drinking half your body weight in water. Um, it might be getting outside and, and soaking up some vitamin D and um, you know just taking your shoes off and grounding. Just basic, weekly challenges that the base, you know, anybody needs. But then at least three times a week, I am in that group doing workouts with them that are gonna be beneficial for anybody, but um, it's so easy for a special needs mom to say, I don't have any extra time, but wait, you got five minutes, mama. Let's do this while the coffee, this morning's workout was while the coffee brews was the name of the workout. So by the time the coffee was done brewing, I had our workout finished. It's taken me this long to put the pieces together and to see that other families are struggling with that. And, and I get the struggle because even as a fitness coach and an active family, I still struggle to get in my own workouts because I'm there coaching other people. And uh, so I've, I, that's always a balance issue. So it just hit me that, wait, we're all saying as special needs parents, we've got to live forever. And we've got to, you know, I can't get sick. No, no parent has time to get sick, but a special needs parent for sure can't be down because we've got to give them the extra care they need. So that's when the special needs mom movement came into the scene. So Ross, who's four, right. you have Owen, who... Who's just a baby, and we're realizing that something's not quite right. And man, the ball just started rolling, and it was instantly to doctor's appointments and therapist appointments and it's so normal to us now that it's almost hard to go back and even remember how that all worked but we then quickly had to realize how do you have an older child still needs lots of love and attention and time and energy and he's going and sitting in doctor's appointments and loves his brother but still you know you're dragging him everywhere so we had to learn uh, how to have that balance and him being around owen has made him the you know the person that he is becoming and is is now much, you know so much that we don't always you know realize it i, I think he's sort of like a, a third parent yeah he really is so it's, it's been a blessing i know that i'm not going to be on this earth for forever and most likely, you know, Owen's gonna outlive both of us. And so then he has his brother that he can uh, be with, but we know eventually that his brother may not even be here. And to think of your child being with someone else other than you and, and your child that has special needs, uh, that's, that was weighed heavy on my heart. Allison, in, in one word, describe Ross. He's just special. So special needs mom movement that puts structure in a process, some accountability, almost almost it's a group fitness, but therapy and hey, someone that's going through the same thing that I'm going through. Right, it was just this light bulb moment that I still get goosebumps over. I have got to help as a fitness coach and special needs mom, I have got to advocate for these moms because we're advocating for our kids who's advocating for the parent, but specifically as a mom for the moms. And these moms can relate so much more to you because you're going through it than some another mom who isn't going through exactly what you're going through. Right. Yeah. At what point did you have this idea that, hey, I have this, this need myself, maybe other people need it as well? It's been a progression. Yeah, it has been a progression. It's been a progression of me feeling the push to help in a different way. I knew I was supposed to be stepping out in a different way, and I just kept pushing on. I kept just talking things out, and um, that it hit me, maybe after talking to another special needs mom and hearing somebody else say, we gotta live forever, and you know, we, that's all in ha ha ha, knowing we can't, but knowing we feel like we need to. You know, we know you as Raj and Allison and Ross and Owen, and we're aware there's something going on there, but from the outside looking in, and, and, and I hesitate to even say this, but it looks easy, but I know it's not. 
we're not the type of couple that dwells on the negative. We take what's been given to us and uh, for lack of better words, tackle it head on and uh, move forward in a positive way uh, and just feel like that's much a much better way to tackle it than to just waller in the negative. Most people are just getting, you know, getting through every day, doing their lives, and we choose to do it with a smile on our face. We are solution people. We're not going to just sit with this problem and just worry over this problem. We're going to take action. And Owen is just a crazy, happy kid. If he were more challenging, it would be yeah. more challenging, of yeah. course. But there is a lot more on our plate. But it's just in perspective, I think. I do struggle with the Come on, you know, I, I do it, I say it, you've got this, but I want them to want it for themselves too. Yeah, and sometimes when you're down in the depths of it, it's hard to, and, and we've had our moments in that. If a special needs parent is struggling with finding joy, you know, I'm sure that there are many that are depressed, that are, don't have support. For those people, I wanna say, Push on.